I found out that Oklahoma was the, the second most friendly business state in the country. And so began Neil and Teresa Fisher's journey to the Sooner State with a business they started in Colorado. COVID shut them down there. They relocated here, and now they have developed a first-class educational and enormously fun adventure destination. We've raised buffalo since 1999, and there were things that we had no idea about and things in their story that we just, most people don't know, even if they own bison. And so he did all of that, and then we were like, okay, we have to make a film. The 12-minute film they made gives a brief but dramatic history of the bison. They're gonna see things that they will swear are fiction because the story, the reason we did the film is that you wouldn't believe this actually happened even if someone told you. This is a powerful film that tells this amazing story, but it sets the stage for today. And so we're gonna say, we're gonna go look for bison that will probably be more buffalo than we're in one place in the country in 1899. It's just a visual image. So then the ride begins in search of the herd, and today it didn't take long to find them. They are magnificent creatures, all shapes and sizes, and as they approach, they bring their appetites with them. You can hand feed them. You can toss out treats if you don't want to get slimed. We, we joke about people getting slimed, and then we come back and wash our hands. And um, so it is a really amazing experience, and it's been very interesting doing this with guests and hearing their comments. Like one said, I didn't know that they all looked a little bit different, and I had no idea they were so cute, because you can't get up close to them safely really anywhere else. The star of the show is their big bull Woody. He doesn't miss any photo op, and he rolls his big tongue out, and you can throw a treat on it, and you roll it back out. Some feet, some of them actually kind of eat more like a horse, and you can put it in their mouth, and they'll use their, their lips, but others will roll out a very long tongue, and it's surprising. People have no idea how long their tongues are and you put a treat on there and they'll roll it right back in. So just to see kids uh, giggle is one thing, but see full-grown men giggle and shriek, that's another experience. This entire adventure is a wonderful experience. Now once back, you can head upstairs. The first little section we call the Hall of Shame, and then beyond that is the Hall of Fame. It's then you can learn even more about the people who diminish the number of bison across the country, but you also learn about the folks who helped and saved the bison from extinction, like Theodore Roosevelt. A gift shop has some very cool items, including some of the books Teresa has written, and outside the impressive facade provides several entertaining photo opportunities. Now don't forget, you can also rent this space for any type of special event. Regardless, the Old West Buffalo Company experience will make you want to come back. And I would say really what the neatest thing is I think about this experience that that it's multi-generational. Obviously getting to see the buffalo and interact with the buffalo is a super cool unique experience uh, which is probably the big draw for a lot of people but I really enjoyed a lot of the educational aspects. It's probably one of the funnest things I've done in quite some time uh, but you know getting just those little pellets and once you grab one it seems like all the bison come up to you so um, you definitely have a crowd once you do that so I love it. This is my second time doing it and I will be back many more times. This is a big draw. It's something that you can bring kids to, the whole family will enjoy it, um, and you get like that fun experience of getting to feed this really powerful and cool animal, but you also get this educational experience. Um, I, think it's, I think it's a really well-rounded well way to spend your time if you're here for a day trip.